On Wednesday, Salvatore Perón was charged with the murders of three shopkeepers. He's confessed to two of the slayings. Perón, a 64-year-old salesman, was picked up in Bay Ridge after being recognized by a tipster in a pharmacy after police released surveillance video from the scene of the last murder. He ate, smoked and openly talked to the copes, according to the New York Daily News. He then confessed to two of the murders and fell asleep. He just stopped talking. Who can explain it? You're not going to be able to explain this guy at all, the source told the Daily News. I'm not a psychologist, but he seems to have mental problems. He's a little delusional. A police officer standing in front of police tape at Shishi Boutique on Thursday night also said that Perón might just be crazy. Investigators found a Ruger 10 to 22 carbine rifle with a sawed-off stock in a black duffel bag at Perón's girlfriend's place. No motive seems present as of yet. Police tried to talk to him about issues in the clothing business, his family or any links to race. Perón didn't flare up at any of the suggestions. When police questioned his neighbors, they all generally agreed that he was a pest and an irksome neighbor. If he is convicted, we'll throw a block party, the neighbor said. He's insane. But a serial killer. That's a long stretch. According to ballistic tests, the sawed-off gun that was found had been used in all of the killings. At a press conference, NYPD Commissioner Raymond Kelly was smiling. He stated that ammo and a knife were found, too. They've taken the knife in for analysis to see if it matches the wounds Isaac Cotteray incurred in his neck. We know that he went to other locations, and asked questions that indicated that. Now that we look at them, he may very well have been planning to come back, said Kelly. He does seem that he could have some mental health issues, said Ken Jones, a court-appointed lawyer. He denies all the allegations. He added. He denies making any incriminating statements. Perone's next scheduled court appearance is November 27th.